for the gaming crew. Welcome, welcome back. And today we are looking at, we are ranking all the Nintendo controllers, and we're starting off first with the NES controller. This is their controller for their first home console, and it was quite popular, uh, very popular. In fact, that they even started remaking them for the Switch, where you want, uh, where you can download uh, the old NES games with the uh, Switch Online. I didn't do that because it's stupid and. I'm slightly less stupid. So, I mean, I have to rate these things based off of how good as con of controllers are and what and how good at the, how good they are at controlling the games that they uh, for the consoles that they were made for. So, this is I mean, it's classic controller. I guess the ridge is kind of digging your uh, palms. The square shape's a little weird. It's a classic controller, but I can't look at it from a nostalgic point. So, I think I'm going to give it I'm gonna say a B, just because I have to take in the fact that this was what, because all the games were 2D, and that's you had to, that it was a perfect controller to control 2D games. It didn't need that many buttons, and they were all in the perfect spot. You just hold it. And so next we follow that with the Super Nintendo controller. It this was also quite popular. Uh, it's the first controller. It is the first Nintendo controller to have shoulder buttons, which you would use with your fingers. With your porn fingers, uh, and it had four face buttons, and it's it genuine controller. It's extremely comfortable. That's gonna get an A. And next is where they begin to fail with the Nintendo 64 controller. This is a weird design. I'm not gonna lie. This is an incredibly weird design, and I think that it should be. I think. That it's a very bad design. It's good at controlling the games. It was made... It, it really only works for Mario 64. I've tried playing uh, Toric uh, on it. And it's just... I don't like having to use the uh, the yellow buttons. And they, they're really annoying. It, it just feels out of place. Because I have to use the analog stick and the yellow uh, uh, directional buttons. It's it's not. It's, it's a D. I, I cannot justify this control. It is pretty neat how it has three different playing styles, or two different playing styles, but it, it just not it's not good at what it does. It, it controls 3D games, but it's not that good. Next, we have their one of their second biggest failure, the GameCube controller. Now, I have to say, and I'm not sure if you people really like this, I love the GameCube controller. It's it's extremely com comfortable. It's weird that they only have one Z button and not two, but I mean, the D pad and the and the bottom analog stick are incredibly small. But I think for the face, it has perfect layout buttons. I mean, it's a little weird and unconventional, but it it's so comfortable. It's perfect. So I'm gonna have to give that an A, an A. I, I I'm, it's not an S because it's. That the shoulders, uh, the two shoulder buttons and the small D-pad and analogs and bottom analog stick takes away from it, but it, it's good at what it does. It still only sold 22 million units. But next we have the Wii, the Wii, which focused on casual entertainment, and everyone bought it for Wii Sports, and some people bought it for other games. I guess, for some reason. But it's, I don't really like it. It forces too many motion controls. And I know that's the point. It's like simple movements. But when you have, um, it, it just doesn't work. I like the analog stick, the nunchuck accessory with the analog stick. It does work very well. It's, uh, I'm going to give it a, I'll give it a C. It's an okay controller, not... Definitely not my favorite. But, you know, so that's love that. But they did add the uh, Nintendo Wii controller. This was mostly meant for the, uh, for the, uh, for, I had four face buttons. And, uh, you would, it, it was used for most of the games that you would download from the Wii shop. And, you know what? It's a good controller. This is, uh, I'm counting this for the Pro and the normal one, it's good at what it does. It, I think that it deserves a, um, 
I'm going to be generous with this one. And I'm going to give it a... I think it's an A. It, it, I, I'm i going to give it an A. Actually, no, I'll give it an S. Because it is a very good control. I can't really think of the flaw. The Pro Controller is better than the normal one. Uh, the normal one is just... It's based off for Super Nintendo, and it does it has weird button. It has weird button layout, uh, uh, weird shower buttons. But and after that, we have we have to the Wii U, Nintendo's biggest failure, uh, and I don't really know what to say about this one. The gamepad is the initial controller that you'd be given, and it has a screen. However, not that many games put the screen to good use. I mean, I know that with Mario Kart 8 uh, for Wii U, uh, it did not use. It made, the only thing it utilized the screen for was to have like a horn or something, or you could display a map, which was probably a very useful feature. But it, it just it doesn't work. There's a lot of random stuff on it that doesn't need it, and you have to charge it separately. You can't charge it from the Wii U, uh, so that's just it. Just takes it away, and um. Yeah, I, I, I can't. I can't swear. It's it's getting a C. It's up there with Pro the Wii. Next is the Wii U Pro Controller, which is just like the Wii controller, but I don't I do not like how the uh the um analog sticks are above the buttons. It's just a weird layout. And I, I can't justify it. I'm gonna give it a D. It, 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 it's it's just not good. I mean, it, the buttons feel really nice. And, but, it, it, that, it just, no, it just doesn't look, it just doesn't feel right. You know, I, I feel I expect to have the buttons at the level of my thumbs, which I'm usually gris, uh, grab, uh, grabbing the controller by the bottom. And I'm, like, my thumbs would usually be on the bottom, on the, on the top, which is where the buttons would be. But it just, just doesn't work. After that, became after their biggest failure, became their biggest success with the uh, Nintendo Switch. This so has, as of now, has sold uh, about a hundred. It's been Nintendo's best-selling system ever, and so we just they have. I'm, I just not on this list. Uh, I'm kind of sad about that. I couldn't really find one that was. Um, but Nintendo Switch Joy Cons. A lot of people complain about these, and I don't really understand why. But, I mean, I guess it's understand because they're very small, but I think it's pretty neat how you have, you can use them separately or together. It doesn't really matter. But I think they're good, uh, and especially with, like, for multiplayer, if you don't have an extra controller. Uh, it's just, it, I think it works. And they're not on your, but I would give them, I give them a B. Uh, they're, they're okay, and they, I like, uh, but there's just so much stuff inside of them. They don't really need... So you have the IR sensor on the bottom one, which was used for, like, one game, and not many people played that. But then, after that, they have the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. I like this one. I do not have the official Pro Controller, because I didn't feel like wasting $70 to buy one. I have a third-party one, but, it, but I felt a real Nintendo Switch controller, it feels just like it. And I'm going to say, I, I really like this controller. This is definitely, this is S-tier. This is S-tier. It's, it's feel, it feels so good. And, um, it just, I f it feels nice. It feels nice. Well, this, I, I think this represents, uh, how I feel about these controllers. Um, I, I mean, the game, I think... You definitely have their bad controllers and their good controllers. I feel the Wii. I'm I'm a little skeptical about to the at C because it's a very good controller, but it's just it's it, it forces too many motion controls. I don't like having to aim with it when I tried to play when I used to try to play Call of Duty on Wii. It just did not work, and I just couldn't have it like that. Well, uh, I. Hope you enjoyed this, and yeah, hope you knew my th my thoughts, and at least can you agree with some of these. Uh, but yeah, thank you. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and all stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye.